So now comes the hard part of the model, or perhaps I should say the first of many hard parts. I've got this great base that I've been drawing on, and it's time to turn that off for a bit. The reason I want to turn it off is very simply that this eye loop I can see here is actually sticking out over the nose, and that's just not how eyes work at all. So what I'm going to start doing is, in vertex mode, taking these vertices, I might use a little bit of soft select, I might not, and I'm going to pull these in so that I form the actual interior of an eye cavity, and that's going to make my model look a lot more eye-like. I will take these as well because I can see that they are sticking out past the nose, so let's pull them in so that the nose can stick out further than the eye. There may be other points that you have to pull back a little bit too. But that's going to give me something a little more eye-shaped. At this point, I can also make a sphere, either a NURB or a polygon. I'll make a NURB, they're just a little bit lower geometry. In either case, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees X so that the pole is facing forward just like a pupil, and then I'm going to move it into position where I think that the eyeball would be. So that looks a little bit small for an eyeball. I think that's got to be just a touch bigger. Maybe like that, and I will pull it back here. And now I can see that my eyeball is indeed sitting in behind my eye loop, so I'm happy with that. If your eye is sticking out in funny ways, you may have to make some adjustments to your eye to this loop here to make sure that it is not passing through the eyeball at any point because that would just be embarrassing. I'll pull that out just a touch. I know you can kind of see through the tear duct there, that's okay. I would go back when I'm building the eyelid and make sure that you can't see the empty space in the back of the character's head. In the meanwhile, I will take this and just call this my left eyeball. Again, I can stick it on a layer. We'll call this one my eyeball layer. And I can turn it off when I'm not using it. So there is the eye. Now I'm going to take a look at the mouth. So I can see I've done a pretty good job shaping my blue blob out here but I haven't really given it a lot of consideration here in the side. So again, I am going to just take a little bit of soft select. Maybe I'll do a slightly bigger radius here because this is a bigger area. Start pulling this back so that I can help form the area around the nose and around the chin. That actually looks pretty good, but I might pull the side of the lip back a little bit here. And same thing, I can start taking some of these and pulling them in just a little bit to help form the indentation above the lip. Soft select may be getting in my way here, so this seems like a pretty good time to toggle it off. Maybe I can take some of these and pull these back a little bit too to help me form the shape of the chin. And I know my blob isn't quite the same shape in both views. That's okay. It doesn't have to be precise. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to give me a general idea of the way that the mouth works. So I am feeling pretty good about my eyes and my mouth. The next thing that I suppose I have to make is something that will help me shape out the nose. There are a couple of different ways that you can shape out a nose. So I will get into that in my next video.